think I'm live. Um, I've never done a live video just from my room before. I think I'm gonna sing some songs and what else, maybe talk about my inspiration behind these songs, um, original songs, if I share some original songs. Why am I living right now? Um, because I'm in the mood to. <laughs> because this morning I was supposed to live with Teresa Denman, who was my mentor at Bethel during my third year at the ministry school there. But it didn't work, Instagram didn't work. Um, and so we actually just did Zoom instead and we recorded that and hopefully we'll be posting that somewhere soon. But, uh, and so yeah, so I'm just kind of in the mood to, to do some live right now <laughs> because it didn't work earlier. So I was like, yeah, look at me, I like wore contacts today too. I'm like, usually I wear glasses, no, no, I have to go out. I like wore contacts specifically for my interview with Mama T and it didn't even work. So <laughs> I'm like, I have to get some value out of me wearing contacts today. All right, so um, I was thinking maybe for the first um, song that I play, and you guys can also, hi Monica, <laughs> I know you're watching. You guys can also feel free to request some songs if you want to. Um, but for this first song, I think I'm just going to sing an original song that I wrote this weekend that I also posted and shared on my YouTube channel that's been doing pretty well for, you know, usually the videos that I post on YouTube are like two, 300 views the first week which is still, you know, decent, I suppose, for a small YouTube channel. Um, but this video has been getting, well, has already passed the thousand view threshold, which I think is pretty good, and it's only been up for like three days. So it's called Whom Shall I Fear? And it's based on Psalm 91. And I wrote this with um, uh, a band this past weekend during our AMPR set. AMPR standing for All Nations Prayer Room in Kansas City, where I currently am at. All right, so whom shall I fear? Should I just sing it and maybe explain the song after? Okay, so my favorite part of this song is actually the bridge, which is at the very end, but it kind of starts off with a very Russian sounding vibe, like Russian folk song. If you kind of, you know, kind of like Tchaikovsky, no, not Tchaikovsky, but you know, just the whole like Russian dance, like anyway, you'll see. So this is Whom Shall I Fear. Na, na, na. 
to teacher mode here. That was ending on a Picardy third. Picardy third is when you raise the third of a minor to a major. So originally the song was in A minor, but I ended it in A major. All right, so <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, so welcome to whoever is joining my Facebook Live. I'm just gonna say again why I'm doing this. Uh, because originally I was going to do an Instagram live with my mentor at Bethel, Teresa Dedman, um, in the afternoon, but it didn't work. Instagram, I think, has been overloaded, so the Instagram live didn't work. So we ended up doing a Zoom meeting instead, and we'll be posting that soon, hopefully. Yeah, and, um, and so I was just in the mood to do a live, because the live didn't work, so I was like, well, I want to get a live in here somewhere, because... Everyone was expecting a live video. So this is the live video that you get instead. Um, anyway, so yeah, hi everyone who's watching. Hi Liz, hi Sabrina, David, uh, Bruce, Shushu, Monica Faye. Yeah, thanks for joining me. Let me know if there's any song requests that you guys have. Um, otherwise, I'm just gonna keep singing the songs that I like. <laughs> so that song that I just sang was Whom Shall I Fear? that I wrote with some of my um, team this past weekend, and it's based on Psalm 91. But uh, I also posted the full video on my YouTube channel, so if you're not subscribed, go subscribe to my YouTube channel, Melody Huang Music. All right, so let's do another song. Um, why not, let's do a Chinese song. Another popular song that I posted recently on my YouTube channel is this song called Ye Kong Zhong Zui Liang De Xing. Um, yeah, yeah, Kong Zhong Zui Liang De Xing. I actually did not hear this song until like the day before I actually covered it for my YouTube channel. Um, because I was supposed to record it with some friends who were visiting Kansas City from Taiwan and they sent me this song to for us to cover together. Like they were gonna come over, we were gonna do this song together, but then they like left and their schedule was just too busy so it didn't work out and then they left for Taiwan and, and I had already like listened to the song I had already practiced it so I was like well it doesn't matter I'm going to record it anyways <laughs> with or without you <laughs> with or without you um so yeah yeah Kong Zhong Zui Liang De Xing and you should know if ever you request a Chinese song for me to cover that it does take me a longer time to learn Chinese songs because Chinese is my second language. I listen better than I read and I read better than I write as usually is the case. And so um, for me to learn one Chinese song is like learning three English songs. You know, like I have to like write the pinging in for any words that I can't um, understand. But at least for this song, I like could read all the words, but it just takes me a while to like get used to forming, you know, the words in my mouth. So yeah, Ye Kong Zhong Zui Liang De Xing. Hope you guys enjoyed my cover of it on YouTube. Like I said, it's there. And subscribe if you're not subscribed. So I'm just gonna sing this now because I feel like this is also a popular one that people really liked. i 
Switch voices. Anyways, yeah. All right. Oh, hi, David. Jolene says, "Molly JJ is so good." Thank you, Jolene. Um. Yeah. Let, do you guys have any song requests? Let me know if you guys have any song requests. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep singing some songs that I like. Um, what songs do I like? So I hope everyone is doing well. You know, in the midst of all the things that's going on, honestly, I feel like, like quite positive. Um, I think just it's really encouraging actually when I read all the things that post that people post on social media. Maybe at least the people that I follow are encouraging people. <laughs> like, if you're a negative person, I probably have already like cut you out of my life. But at least the people that I'm following seem to be really encouraging. And I am just encouraged because it feel I feel like this thing that's happening globally is like really bringing people together, you know. And at least we all have a relevant topic to talk about, something that is relevant to everyone in the world right now. And it seems really connective. It's like wow, everyone has something that we can share with. So that at least for me has been、um, really interesting. To experience, yeah. So I am just looking for some 
songs that I can share with you guys next, unless you guys have any song requests. How about we change the genre? Why don't we do something different? Mm. Ooh, why don't we do a Disney song? Sammy, are you still watching? <laughs> We all love musicals. We love Disney. Okay, so we're gonna. I'm gonna do one of my favorite Disney songs. Colors of the Wind. Any Pocahontas fans? <clears throat> Just so you guys know a little bit about me, because I heard that you know when you do live videos like this, you should be more personal. <laughs> So something personal about me is that I love musicals. I mean, I guess you don't have to know me that well to know that, but I absolutely love musicals. I love Disney. And when I was young, it was like a dream of mine to be like a Broadway star, but that would never work now that, you know, I'm more realistic now about it. Only because I know I'm like a horrible actor. Like if I, if you put me on stage and I have to like perform as a different character, I can't stop laughing. So that would never work. And also I'm not a good dancer. I am not my brother. My brother is a professional hip hop dancer, but I am not him, um, which is not an unfortunate thing because um, I am Melody and it's good to be whoever we are, you know, just appreciate the lot that has been given us. So um, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I love, Broadway, although I'm not a triple threat, you know, I don't act, dance, and sing, but I can just do what I can do, which is sing, so hope you enjoy this cover of Colors of the Wind from Pocahontas. You think you own whatever land you land 
voice cracked. Uh, <laughs> we need to sing with all the voices. Oh my god, it's kind of like when I did that challenge, um, that Denzichi challenge. <laughs> I wonder how many of you guys have seen that video. Um, I did a Denzichi challenge maybe like like a month ago yeah and um denzichi gem she called herself gem gem g-e-m get everyone moving but her chinese name is denzichi she's like a pop star pop artist in asia she posted a video of herself um challenging or maybe someone else challenged her to sing um guangnian zhuai the pre-chorus and like um transpose it up eight degrees and then someone watched that video and like shared it with me and said you should try this so i tried it and it was very difficult let's just leave it at that um guangnian zuai guangnian zuai is another really popular cover that i've done that people seem to like i mean i think it's because of gem because denzichi is so popular you know <clears throat> I mean, do you guys want to hear Guang Yan Zuai? I'm not going to sing it um, transposed up eight degrees. Hi, Joni! <laughs> but why don't we just sing Guang Yan Zuai in the original key? That it, it is a very popular one. I hope I can recognize all the words because that's the thing about Chinese songs. I always have to make sure like I can read all the characters. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so if I sing it and I get the Chinese words wrong, don't count it on me, okay? Anyway, this is an ABC singing Guang Yan Zuai.
before we end this live. Um, yeah, so just to say uh, again why I'm doing this live, because originally this morning I was supposed to do a live interview with my mentor back at Bethel, and um, but the it, live interview didn't work. It was supposed to be on Instagram, but I think Instagram is, is overloaded right now. So uh, we ended up recording a Zoom meeting and we'll be posting that soon. Uh, anyway, so so I still had like I wanted just to do a live something and so this is that live something All right, so you guys are saying sing more Joni. <laughs> what should I sing? Um, do you have any song requests? Thank you Faye full of spirit <laughs> Any song requests if not, let me see what I have here in front of me That I would like to sing because sometimes it's good just to sing, just to do what I want, you know? Um, what do I want? Why don't I share a song that I wrote that a lot of people may probably may not have heard before. Um, oh, actually, yes, I really like this song. Mm, yeah, so this song is called Passing Away. Okay, yeah, I'm just making sure that I remember how to... Um, Sing this song. So the song Passing Away I wrote oh so many years ago. I don't actually even remember when I wrote it. But um it's based on a verse in Romans and it's literally word for word on the verse that goes, This world in its present form is passing away. And I remember just reading that verse, Paul the Apostle writes that. This world in its present form is passing away. And it was just that simple sentence. But for some reason, it really struck me that day. And I started, you know, meditating and thinking about that fact that, in fact, life is very short. And there are other passages in Psalms, you know, where it talks about how life, all flesh is but a vapor. Um, or like grass that fades away. And I just remember that day thinking about that, like, wow, uh, it's such a good thing to keep in mind how transient this life is, and not just our lives, but this world. Even though it might seem like the world's structure and systems have lasted for thousands of thousands of years, but even that will eventually pass away. And what are the things that we are building? You know, is it going to last? Um, so yeah, I just remember reading that verse, this world in its present form is passing away and it really striking me. So I wrote this song and I stitched together a lot of different verses in the Bible that talks about that topic, about how short life is and you know, how we have to keep our eyes on what's eternal, you know, on what lasts. So yeah, so that is, that is this song. But the chorus gets really hopeful. The chorus talks about when I look at the stars, I remember where my heart belongs. And the one who endures forever, his love goes on and on. So there is one who is eternal, you know, in this very transient context that we live in called the world. And that is, you know, the one that we have to keep our eyes on. So this is that song. It's called Passing Away. And I am going to do this in A minor. <laughs> It's passing, it's passing, it is passing away. 
Yeah, I love the chorus. <laughs> I love the chorus of that song. It's so hopeful. But when I look at the stars, I remember where my heart belongs and the one who endures forever. His love goes on and on, just like the river that flows from Zion that never will run dry. So those who trust in the Lord who will end up spring up eternal. Journey. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like that song. Um, so it was a long time ago. The interesting thing about this song is that um, there's a there's a verse in Chinese in there, cause I mean just from this is like a songwriter's Xiaomi <laughs> little secret. It's because I couldn't think of a second verse to write in English, and so I was just like, well, why don't the second verse just be the same verse but translated into Chinese. So that's that's what I did there. Um, yeah, so I think I have one more song left in me to sing. Um, it doesn't seem like anyone is requesting any songs. So maybe I will just pick another song. Um, hi, Cher. <laughs> um, oh, by the way, Cher. I know you requested me to sing Baby Shark. I have not forgotten. Actually, I did record myself singing that song. I just have not gotten around to editing that video. I actually did it. What are, what are the chorus progression? I think I probably did it in C. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark, do 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 do. Mommy shark. Oh, sure, Joni. So yeah, you get you guys stay tuned for that video because I I promise I did. Um, and so maybe I'll get around to editing that video and we'll be posting it. Uh, yeah. So you're welcome. Sure. That's that's your reward. Thank you for feeding me when I went to visit you in Malaysia. <laughs> And your delicious cookies. Uh, a Chinese baby shark. What is shark again? Uh, what is shark again? In Chinese, I forgot. Sayu. Sayu. Baby shark. I don't even... My Chinese is not that good. Okay, if you can translate it into Chinese for me, then I will... No, I don't want to promise something that I won't deliver. Um, but someone has to translate it first before I'll sing it. All right, so finally, um, oh, yes, I, let's just do one more song. Whew, what song shall we do? Let's do a Chinese song. Sure, is making all these requests. Ah. Uh, um, I am looking for songs to sing. My last song for you guys. Why don't we do another original then? Because this is my Facebook Live. Might as well sing my song. Uh, I don't usually get to sing my songs when leading worship. And actually, my song, a lot of my songs are not very appropriate for worship settings. Um, oh, yeah. So, I'm waiting. Wait. Can you feel the love tonight? Oh, now all the song requests are coming in. All right. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. I'm pretty sure I don't do it in the original key because the original key is a guy key. So let's see if I can transpose this in my head. I think this is the original key. It's only Jane Wick. Um, some background on that song is written by my friend Alvin. Alvin Jean, who is also a worship leader at Foreigner Muzu Xianfeng Jiawei in Fremont, California. And he wrote this song, and there's actually an uh, EP album album. 
that I helped produce back in 2015, no, 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 2012, I think, actually, called Songwei Jianwei. So his song was like the title track from that album, and that album included other songs um, that some of our young worship leaders wrote, including my own, um, you know, Shen Yu Da Shui, Hai Asma. There was my mom's Butsai Yi Yang, and then there was also Alvin and I co wrote I the Shi and we're all on that album, Tongwei Jianwei. And um, so Shelly requested this song, so I will sing this for you, Shelly. And this is Tongwei Jianwei, female version, piano version. And I think I will be doing it in C. No, 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 no. That, I think that's actually the guy key. Tongwei Jianwei! It's too, way too high. Okay, I'm gonna do it in G. Sure, I'm just gonna ignore your comment for now <laughs> and um, write a song about almond butter. I'm just going to get back into my worshipful mood and ignore that comment.
That is a really great song, Alvin, written by Alvin Jean. Um, what I know of the song was it was written, it was birthed out of, birthed out of a prayer room set. And at the time, um, back at my home church, we had like, at least, uh, at, at the most, we had like eight weekly sets that we would do, harp and bowl style. And this was birthed out of one of Alvin's sets. And he was seen from Revelation, um, I believe it's Revelation 1, when it describes Jesus' characteristics. Revelation 1 or Revelation 4 or 5, I'm not sure. But just his eyes like flames of fire and just talking about you know when we behold him behold his beauty we're just struck by how um beautiful he is so yeah that is totally jayway thanks for requesting that shelly <laughs> yeah hi mary um okay so i did hear i remember sure you requested one more song um what um what was the song you requested? Oh yeah, can you hear, can you feel the love tonight? Let's see if I have, I might not have the chords for that, so I'm gonna have to Google it. Can you feel the love tonight, chords? Um, and also, I don't know if the, chords that I find is going to be suitable for me as a female singer. Let's see. So this seems to be in G. That's a little high. Ah, they won't let me transpose it unless I download their app. Hmm. Can I down? Can I transpose it in my head, or should I just sing it in the original key? It will be really high though. <clears throat> can you feel the love tonight? I guess it works. Okay, let's take it from the top. This is me singing. Can you feel the love tonight in the original key, which is not. Is it? Oh wait, it could be the girl key or it could be the guy key, because there are different versions. Anyways. My voice is a little tired. Um, yeah, make sure you guys drink water. It's good for, you know, taking care of our throats as serious, but also good for just taking care of our bodies during this time, COVID-19, whatever. Drinking water, I heard, lowers your chances of getting infected because 
then you're just ingesting the virus if it ever gets into your nasal system you just ingest it and then the um, acid acidity in your stomach will digest the virus and kill the virus but if you're too dry in your throat and nose then it will go into your respiratory system so drink water so i'm gonna go drink some water and thank you guys for all of you who have stayed with me throughout this live stream faye shelly um and whoever else is watching this um uh, thanks for joining me and uh, maybe next time when i do a live i will announce it ahead of time so that people actually know that i'm going live i just kind of sprung it up on you all <laughs> um because i was in a mood for a live so anyways next time maybe i'll like give a heads up so you guys can actually like prepare some songs that you guys um want me to sing oh hi diamond thanks wow you have my album in your car love 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 um yeah so i'll see you guys next time and prepare some song requests that you guys might have i might not be able to sing it um well right off the bat but Maybe you'll watch me learn it on the spot, and that could be fun too, right? Yeah, so um, let me know if you guys want me to do more of this in the future. We will be home a lot anyways, so it's just time for many things, many creative things. All right, I'll see you guys. I'll stop rambling. Bye!